start that over. Shay, how you doing today? <laughs> What's going on, man? <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, Throw big old belt media. Uh, look, I start off by saying this: the show was amazing. I, I loved every second of it. I laughed every episode. Uh, I'm pretty sure I had some sprite spit on my on my screen. Uh, <laughs> but it, I, I just didn't know, you know, what to expect from one moment to the next. Like I said, th thank you, thank you so much. This this was a really great show. Uh, that makes me feel good, man. Thank you. All right, let's get into the hard, uh, see, uh, hard questions, right? Yes. Uh, so, one, you're you're in the director chair uh, for this, um, and you've also this show is also loosely based off of some some parts of your life. Uh, what uh, in, in comparison to who who's who of uh, the characters that we have here? Who who is I guess your actual comparison to your real life family? Um, okay, so the real life parent. Wait, did you say that I, I didn't direct any episodes? We have four directors come in. They were really great. I sat next to them. I didn't. Know <laughs> them. Um, but for the for the character, so the Drea character, that's of course based on my mom. Right. The, the five uncles. I have those five uncles in real life. Each of them, they're all they're they have like a real life counterpart. The the Maya character. Um, is based on my wife, who I met my first year of college. So we've been together for, okay. for 23 years. Um, it's a bit of a spoiler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, go, it goes a little different in the show. <laughs> uh, the the Miguel and the Harris characters, those are based on like real life friends. Um, so each of the like, there's 10 main cast members. All 10 of those, are, they have like a real life counterpart. But we just use them as like the bones of the of right. the person to help us create like the general shape, and then we just invented everything out from there. Okay, um, talk talk to me a little bit through the casting. How how much of that did you did you have to deal with? And uh, you know, do you I guess how much of the people do we have did you have influence in like making sure that you, they were able to play these characters? Oh, I got I got to participate in the entire process, which was really cool. So like I watched all the audition tapes when they would come in. The, the way that it would work is is we would get an email from the casting director, uh, Carla Hool, and she'd be like, Okay, we have 10 new um 10 new auditions for for the Rafa role. Right. And then so they that would go out. I would watch them. Um Mike, the uh, Mike Morgan. Mike Scher, Morgan Sackett, David Miner, who are executive producers on the show, would watch them as well. And then we would huddle up and be like, who do we like here? Do we like anybody? Let's move them to the next round. You know what I mean? And right. it, it would just go like that. And we would just advance the people that we like the most. Um, and it, like a tournament almost is what it felt like. <laughs> then it's just whoever the best one is or the funniest one is, that's who's going to win out on the roll. And every once in a while, somebody would show up Ignacio would show up and read for the Rafa role, and we would be like, "Oh my, oh my God, we we found him. This is him. He's that, that kid is hilarious. So that kid good. is hilarious. <laughs> same same with uh, Christina, with Johnny, with Jonathan, with Carlos, with Henry, with Efrain. Like those were the people who they came in and 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 as Mike calls it, they won the audition. They were just clearly the person we should get, and so we would just give them the role, and we got them all out there, and turned out it. Worked out really, really well. And, I, and I, the reason I asked is, as far as the casting, and I, I talked about this a little earlier, was that some of the actors are not necessarily comedians. They they usually do more drama roles. So uh, I'm curious as to you know how they how how that audition went. You know, because they, they got to kind of turn on the funny. You know, versus like them playing more serious characters. Yeah, and and I think that benefited us greatly because. Um, each character in this show, at some point, they have to have like a like a thoughtful, heartfelt moment, either with Rafa or with somebody else. Like you have right. to see, right? That like that's what makes it feel like a real family that cares about each other and loves each other, right? right. So getting that, getting actors who could do that was important. But yeah, Mike, when we started casting, he was like, "Listen, don't even you kind of don't even have to worry about what's on an actor's resume. Just watch the tape, and if they're funny." great we got it like just find the funniest warmest person um so like uh jonathan medina for example who plays the uncle jay character mm. uh, he's mainly like a drama person but he came in <laughs> he was just so funny in the room it was like all right well that, that's the guy like book him John, johnny ray diaz who's a drama guy like 
he was hilarious as Uncle Roly. Book him. Christina, Christina had done comedy before she could do everything. Book her, like, you know what I mean? You just find right. the funniest, the warmest person and don't worry about anything else. Like, who cares? Absolutely. Like, it's funny you say that because I was talking to Jonathan and him not using his Uncle Jay voice kind of threw me off. Right. A little, <laughs> I was like, is this the same guy? I was like, oh. <laughs> so I just thought that was hilarious. Um, uh, location. Um, I, I know, you, again, you know, you're trying to basically, you know, get as close as you can. Did you kind of go back to the old neighborhood here or was this just kind of somewhere off the way? Yeah. So the show is set in San Antonio, but we shot it in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And mm -hmm. we just did a lot of scouting to find, all right, where can we, what's a place we can use that's going to pass as San Antonio on the screen? It's got to have these certain like aspects and elements to it. And when we found Albuquerque and we found the neighborhood and the corner store, um, all of the pieces just sort of matched up uh, perfect. So you watch it. And if I told you we shot it in San Antonio, somebody who lives in San Antonio would look at it and go like, oh yeah, that's definitely San Antonio. You know what sure. I mean? Yeah, it definitely got me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what would you say out of, out of the eight was your favorite episode this season? Um, favorite, favorite moment of the season, not even favorite episode, but your favorite moment of the season. Man, they're all so great. I, I mean, I feel like when I'm looking at favorite moments, I have different ones for each individual characters that just sort of pop up in my head. If I pick one episode, I think the game everybody's Champ, everybody's the same game champ. Yeah, <laughs> I think the game champ episode because it's by that point we're halfway into the season, so we know who the characters are, right. and we also we also know like by that point we know okay the episode's going to end and then there's going to be like a little kicker afterward. Great, we've like established that. We have we get like a, a shared history of the family. We have like some fun little gags and gimmicks in there. There's a really sweet moment between between uh, Mondo and Roly when Roly like admits that he's just worried his friend is like going to be mad at him after he right. passed. Away. Like that that to me that episode always stands out. But like individual moments, I could call out my favorite Christina moment, my favorite Ignacio moment, my favorite Stakaya moment, like. We can we can go through that whole list, you know. Absolutely. Um, with with Game Champ, uh, how 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 crazy was that actual game for you in real life? Like, was was that something? Was that just made up for the show? Oh man, we just made that up for the show. Like, we had you you of course play games at your house, uh, like win, lose, or draw, or or spades or whatever. Um, Loteria, like the like that's the thing that the Mexicans play. Like we just took versions of all of those games and like let's just make the the most nonsensical thing we can. We right. never explain it. You never get any sense of how the game works. <laughs> you just see it happening, and you're like, I don't know what's going on here. Um, but yeah, that was that was so much fun to like create. There's a one. There's that three second clip of when they're like, let's play game champ. I don't want to play game champ. I can't lie to the police again. And then it cuts <laughs> to the previous game champ. Like everybody in that moment was just throwing all of the goofiest ideas out there because Melissa Fumero directed that one. So she's just like making it up yeah. as we're doing it. She's like, what about, let's have one person is it here and another person's there and the police sirens are going and he jumps in with an ax and you know what I mean? Like it was just, we're just making up as much goofy stuff as we can. It was definitely crazy. Look, Shay, the, the entire season was amazing. Like I said, it, it absolutely was hilarious from start to finish. A lot of heartfelt moments um like i said this is definitely a show that i will be recommending to my friends and family yes. and spreading the word about how, how good this is like it legitimately was uh i couldn't put it down uh, i just wish only thing i just wish it was a little couple more episodes i was like it's got to be a bonus episode somewhere, but um, <laughs> come on but i, I really right. hope you got i really hope you guys get that season too man because I'm, I'm hungry for another season Me so too. I, 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 re it. I really appreciate it no problem right. shay thank you thank you so much for the interview thanks homie